Back now, 742 with Brad Pitt breaking his silence, speaking out for the first time about his split from Angelina Jolie. Yeah, GQ style spent time with Pitt at his home in Los Angeles and on an eight-day photo shoot in the country's national parks. In a very candid interview, he opens up about why he stopped drinking and started therapy and how he's coping with the breakup that shocked the world. Brad Pitt is speaking out in the new summer issue of GQ style. Only once does he mention Angelina Jolie by name, but he talks openly about life since his marriage broke up. The actor and producer says at first he didn't want to spend time in the Los Angeles home he once shared with his family, instead spending a month and a half crashing with a friend. He tells GQ style, this house was always chaotic and crazy, voices and bangs coming from everywhere. And then, as you see, there are days like this, very, very solemn. Except for a few occasions, like his surprise appearance at this year's Golden Globe Awards, Pitt has remained largely out of the limelight. Instead, a more introspective Pitt says he prefers to spend time creating art and working on his upcoming film, War Machine. He also reveals that he just started therapy, going through two therapists until he found the right one. I love it, he tells the magazine. The news created shockwaves when Joe Lee filed for divorce last September, just days after an incident on the family's private jet. Pitt was investigated for allegations of physical abuse and was later cleared by the FBI and L.A. Family and Child Services. A court eventually ordered family counseling. Speculation only grew around the cause of the couple's split, including rumors of infidelity and substance abuse. Pitt says, I was boozing too much. It's just become a problem, and I'm really happy it's been half a year now, which is bittersweet. I had to step away for a minute, and truthfully, I could drink a Russian under the table with his own vodka. I was a professional. I was good. Later adding, this period has really been about looking at my weaknesses and failures and owning my side of the street. Jolie, for her part, has said very little, but she and Pitt agree the most important thing is protecting their six children. In February, she told BBC World News. We are a family, and we will always be a family, and we will get through this time and, and hopefully be a stronger family for it. Earlier this year, the actors decided to seal any court documents relating to custody. Pitt says, I heard one lawyer say, no one wins in court. Fortunately, my partner in this agrees. It's very, very jarring for the kids to suddenly have their family ripped apart. Right. And Pitt tells GQ Style that his focus is now on his kids, saying family first. People on their deathbeds don't talk about what they obtained or what they were awarded. They talk about their loved ones, adding he hopes everyone comes out of this stronger and better people. Yeah, Let's talk more about this with Will Welch. He's the editor-in-chief of GQ Style. How well, good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's quite the interview, and you really yeah. do see him open up. I mean, he's not throwing his heart out onto the table, but he's really sharing some personal revelations he seems to be going through in real time. Yeah, absolutely. He's sort of working through his feelings uh, with the writer Mike, Mike Paternini who interviewed uh, Brad Pitt at home. Um, and, you know, that's the, he's one of the most famous actors in the world, but I think there's an element of rawness there and he's going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul. Uh, but what I think is really exciting about this interview and a, a great example for our readers is that he's really coming to terms and confronting his feelings in a way that he never has before. And I, I feel like that's something if we can all learn to sort of get our emotional lives in order and yeah. that that family and career are what follow that and he's a living example of that you know he he says I won the lottery uh, mm -hmm. but then there are other there are other ways in which he was lost mm -hmm. so so to watch a guy at age 53 make that adjustment uh, I think is really interesting and a good example this may be a bit redundant will yeah. but it, I, what caught my attention in the intro was an eight-day photo yeah. shoot now that's yeah. a long time to spend with someone like Brad Pitt so you yeah. would say that the place he's in right at this moment is what? Uh, well, you know, he was open to a collaboration. I think so, so much of the, the celebrity work these days is transactional. And what we brought to him was essentially an art project with the photographer, Ryan McGinley. Uh, when we were thinking about what we wanted to do with our summer issue, it was, uh, we're in a very divided country right now, and we wanted to find a common ground that we could all celebrate, which became the national parks. So that's what I presented to, to Ryan McGinley, the photographer, and to Brad Pitt, and that's what he signed on for. And then we started talking about, he said it was always his dream to ride his motorcycle through White Sands National Park. So we took him to do that. And I think you see there's a different level of, of collaboration with us.
I was struck at how open he was about the alcohol abuse mm -hmm. and, and all the other things and just how introspective he really seemed to be in yeah. this interview. Were you guys surprised by all of that? Uh, yeah, I think there was, a, there was a certain amount of trust built up over yeah. the course of the shoot, uh, but you know, that's, that's just the place he's in. And I think what's really commendable is he's coming from this place of, I'm done hiding. Yeah. I'm done using crutches. Uh, I'm ready to look this in the eye. And that could have just been something that he kept private, but in this case, uh, he felt comp compelled and felt uh, like it was the right time to, to share that. And I, I think that's exciting for all of us. Real, real quickly, we were, we were yeah. talking, and, and is there any element here that you think this is a message he's sending out to Angelina, that I've done a lot of soul searching and I'm in a better place, and maybe is there some effort to bring? To have the whiff of reconciliation, yeah. 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 but maybe we're projecting. Uh, no, you, you guys are. Uh, of course, everybody is invited to to read this great interview and, and interpret it however they want. I didn't get that sense. I felt like this is a guy who's been stripped down to his sort of foundations, and he's looking to build it back and move forward. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a fascinating interview. Yeah, really great. Congrats, Thanks, Will. Will. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, we should you. mention summer issue of GQ style be available on news stands on May 16th, so check it out. And we're back right after this. Thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.